To save a PowerPoint as a video, go to File, Export, Create Video, click Create Video again, and save your file. It really is that simple. The rest of this video shows you how to set up your presentation so you have more control over the final output. Software simplified. Grab a pen and paper and let's keep ourselves organized with a quick checklist. Before we export our presentation as a video, we need to do three things. We need to set up our media so that it plays automatically when the slide is in focus. We need to make sure that our animations are timed accurately so that they play when the voiceover is being played. And we need to set up our slide transitions so they happen at just the right time. Now let's open up our PowerPoint and get to work. If you want to see the finished product of what we're about to create here, look in the description for a link to final video. For each slide, we'll run through our checklist. On this first slide, I have a video. To make sure this video automatically plays when the slideshow starts, I'm going to click the video. Then under playback, where it says start, I'll make sure that automatically is selected in the drop down menu. Now, in order for my slideshow to transition to slide two, right when the video is done playing, I need to know the length of my video. I'm going to hover over the playback menu at the bottom of my video and go all the way to the right. And I see that my video here is 58 seconds long. So now I know how long to time my transition. I'm going to go up to transitions. Then under advanced slide, instead of on mouse click, I'm going to make sure that after is selected and I'm going to type in my value here of 58 seconds. Now, I recommend you preview your slideshow after you perform every step so that it looks exactly how you want it to look. On our second slide, we have two animations and a pre-recorded voiceover. Let's run through our checklist. We want the sound to play automatically. So we'll select the sound icon, click playback, and make sure start is set to automatically. We'll also click the checkbox next to play across slides so that our voiceover doesn't stop abruptly when the transition happens. We'll also click hide during show so that the speaker icon doesn't show during our presentation. Next, we want to make sure our animations are in sync. I have an animation on the text and also an animation on the underline here. If I click on animations, animation pane, we can see the order of all three of our animations starting with our voiceover. If we click our voiceover, click this down arrow here, we see that is automatically starting after our previous animation which occurs on the first slide. So we're good to go here. Our next two animations are the text box and the underline. So we're going to click this down arrow, we're going to go to timing, and we see that this is going to start with our previous animation. So as our voice narration is playing, this animation is going to come in at the exact same time. There's no delay, and the animation is going to happen pretty fast, in half a second. This next animation for the underline will do the same thing. We'll go to timing. We see that this happens with the previous animation, but there is a two second delay. And I did this in order to match up the animation with what is being said in the voiceover. This animation again happens very fast, half a second, so we're good to go there. Last thing you want to do is make sure that the transition is happening at the time that you want it to happen. So we'll make sure our slide two is selected. Then we'll go over to our sound file. And just like we did with the video, we want to see how long this sound file is. It's about four seconds long. So we'll go to transitions and then under advanced slide, make sure after is checked and enter in four seconds. Again, you can go ahead and preview and make sure everything looks as expected. And you want to repeat this process for every single one of your slides, making sure that the timing is set up just right, running a preview of your slideshow and making sure it looks exactly how you want it to look. Once you've got all those things set, it's time to export your video. Click record, export to video, and export to video. It really is that simple. Let me help keep your tech skills sharp. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing on PowerPoint. And if you want more personalized help, be sure to check the description for a link to my tech support membership. If you have questions or feedback, please leave them in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. That's it for this video. My name is Steve, here to keep your tech skills sharp. I'll see you in the next video.